as a white dude, as a white rapper, I'm like, how do I participate in this conversation? How do I participate? How do I get involved on a level where I'm not co-opting the movement or I'm not making it about me, but also realizing the platform that I have and the reach that I have and doing it in an authentic, genuine way? Because race is uncomfortable to talk about. And in white people, we can just turn off the TV when we're sick of talking about race. Yes. You know, we can just be like, oh, no, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. No, ra racism's gone. The TV is off. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're done. Everyone's fine. We're all equal. Exactly. It doesn't work that, uh, that way for everybody. Right. Exactly. It does not work that way for everybody, but that's what we can do. And, and the thing for me is like, you know, white liberal people, you know, want to be nice. You know, we don't want to mess up. We don't want to be racist. We want to be like, oh, we're post-racial and we have a black president and we don't need to talk about white privilege and ah, it's all good, right? right? It's not the case. And um, I was talking to somebody the other day and they said to me, um, silence is an action. Silence is an action. And it's my privilege that I can be silent about this issue. And I'm tired of being silent about it. Like I've been silent for a long time about it because I didn't want to mess up. Didn't want to say the wrong, didn't want to offend anybody. Wow. But it is so imperative right now that we have this race conversation in America. If we're going to progress, if we're going to move past this, if we're going to work together, truly work together, we have to get past that awkward stage of the race conversation, step up and just have it. And I don't know where that starts other than just speaking about it. You know, you're like, how do we even jump into it? It's just, know. you just have to start talking about it. And, and as a white person, we have to listen. And yet we also, we need to listen. We need to direct the attention to the people of color that are on the ground mobilizing and listen to those people and take some direction in terms of how we can actually make this that, conversation. I think that's key. That point right there is oftentimes, you know, the people who are having the experience and saying they feel a certain way we're too often quick to go, you know, almost fuck your feelings. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. And they're like, no, I'm living it. Like, I'm telling you what I'm experiencing in my small town, large metropolis, uh, back street. I'm telling you what me and my friends are experiencing, yet and still you want to act like it's the victim's fault. Yes. Right? Or I'm doing something wrong to bring this treatment upon myself. Right. And I think that happens too frequently and we watch it happen. 